I never thought I would be saying these words. I think I really appreciate Cardi B. Never thought that would, would come out of my mouth. I think I really do for a lot of reasons. And let me just say, as, as somebody that, you know, as Larie talks about ancestors, I have such a profound pr- respect for my elders. I have such a profound respect for people who have been here before me, who know more things than I do. But I'm now wildly aware that we are in a generation where you don't, you, you become an influencer or you can influence people without having too much knowledge, yeah. wisdom, understanding, and yet you're in that seat. And I cannot discount that you have the ability to reach people. By any means necessary is one of my hero's famous phrases, by any means necessary. And I think we're yeah. in that by any means necessary bubble. So Cardi B, let me say thank you for being engaged for being as ratchet as you are to reach the ratchet among us who, who they hear your voice. When you, when you open your mouth, you, I believe people are going to vote because Cardi B said so. So I want to play a couple of clips. She had a, uh, uh, Bernie Sanders had a town hall. And let me say, I'm, I'm really loving Bernie Sanders more that he's out of the race because I'm mm. seeing the level of, of maturity that I would expect from somebody in his position. And I'm seeing it play out now. You know, a lot of people like, like the youth, they don't really, they don't really rock with Joe Biden because he's conservative. But the thing is that like, you know, I think Obama, right? I think Obama did like a smart move where he picked Joe Biden as his vice, as his vice president, because that's how he got the conservative vote. And just because there's so many people that are liberal like me and are a little bit more open with things, a lot of these states are not. So I think that that's why, you know, Obama had Biden as vice president. Now he's endorsing him. And we're very excited to um, to see that. I'm very excited. And I'm excited, too, that you are endorsing Joe Biden. And I will want you to tell my platform why are you endorsing him. Like, why Good. should we vote for him? Well, and how can we spread right. for us to vote for Joe Biden? Is that good enough for folk who supported Bernie Sanders? Is that good enough for you uh, that your candidate is getting behind Joe Biden in a very powerful way that he's using his platform to push Joe Biden? And and that's how politics works, by the way. It's It's a game of compromise. It's a game of engagement. It's a game of reaching across aisles and and bridging gaps. That's what politics used to be, used to be. A, a gentlewoman, a gentleman's game of compromise. Eight six six eight zero one eight two five five. Lori Daniel Favors is here uh, as Cardi B leverages her sixty three million followers on Instagram, eleven million on Twitter, um, and I'm sure there's a convergence. So I'll give her the top sixty three million people follow Cardi B. She has influence. She may not That's know right. a whole lot of everything, may not have a depth of knowledge, but she has influence and she is voting for Joe Biden. Is that good enough for people? Do you think that's going to make a difference? Larry, what do you think? Um, you know, I think that it will make a difference, actually. And I, I think that, you know, she presents in a way um, that we typically don't associate with people who have like a depth of knowledge. But I think that when it's come to political issues, she has definitely spoken with someone who is paying attention, with the, with the insight of someone who's paying attention. Um, this is not the first time she has had a political uh, political commentary. Um, her her rant on coronavirus was as heartfelt as one could get. I'm not talking about the coronavirus, not the one that went viral, but the one where she was asking, like, we want answers. Like, we want to know what happened. How did this happen? People are dying. And while she presents in a way that might not be uh, the way that you or I would choose, I think that she is signaling that she is someone who's paying attention. She is willing to use her platform to encourage her followers to pay attention. Um, and then she's providing concrete opportunities for them to engage. Bernie Sanders might not never speak to somebody in her demographic. He might never speak, have the opportunity to engage with people. I was on that live. I saw how people were reacting. And I was like, yes, sis, yes. I mean, she has been active in the census. She did an entire um, ad for the New York City uh, census campaign where, like, she is clearly speaking as in her authentic voice. Um, And so I think, you know, I was grateful. I appreciate it. Um, And I think that it will make a difference. I think that it will encourage people um, to be able to have a different look or maybe even a first look if they weren't thinking about it before in ways that are going to be very, really relevant. 
And and you get back to the authentic voice because I think, you know, more so somebody was like, well, Beyonce didn't help Hillary Clinton. And I think, you know, Beyonce outside of her music has been apolitical and she's been very uh, right. media trained and media savvy. Cardi has been the anti all of that from the very inception. She's never done anything yep. that people expected or wanted. She's been herself through this whole journey and it's actually been interesting and fun to watch a woman grow into all of the things that she's going to become as a mother, as a woman, as a powerhouse, as a businesswoman, and and figure it out in real time. It is beautiful to watch. And I think she cares deeply. Like she said, people are like, why do I care? I'm a millionaire or whatever. I got money, but my people aren't. My friends, I got That's friends right. that are showing up every day to work. And if you can't care about humanity, no matter what your status is, if you can't That's care right. about the average person that has to get up every day, listen, I've, I've been very clear about, you know, tax brackets and not care. I'll pay more taxes if it means more people get to eat, if more people get exactly. to, to live, to breathe, to have a better life. Like, who gives a damn about that? You know, and I think right. Cardi B should be the way all entertainers, anybody that's a quote unquote influencer should be using their platform right now to do anything else right. to me is criminal. I love that D nice used this platform to get people registered to vote. Yep. Yeah. We are in their club quarantining and dancing and shaking yep. our asses, but now we're also well aware that we can vote and lean in. And I would like to see more of this. And if you're not doing that in this time, I don't think we should be supporting you. I think there yeah. should be just like the vote. There should be an exchange for my money, for my, my, my following. You should do something yeah. for us.